Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to um, my let's play through of Tomb Raider 4, Tomb Raider The Last Revelation. Um, I'm going to say up front here I have played this game a lot. Um, I used to be um, a very very big Tomb Raider fan, in fact I still am a very big Tomb Raider fan, um, but I used to play these games a hell of a lot. Probably about um, the last time I stopped, uh, the last time I played it was probably about six years ago though, so it's been quite a while um, since I've actually looked at this game, but because I've played it so much, um, I am going to be able to remember a hell of a lot about it. Um, do you ever have one of those games where you feel like you never actually fully did it, um, you never fully completed it? Well, with this game, um, I never actually got all the secrets, and so that's the purpose of this playthrough. Um, this is my attempt to get all 70 secrets. That's the Tired total for the whole of the game, and here we go. Now, I haven't actually cheated as such, um, but I have to explain that um, regarding the secrets, um, when Core Design um, released this game, they actually did something very different with um, with the secrets that they hadn't done before. In previous games, um, they used to tell you how many secrets per level so you were aiming to get. And um, in this game, they didn't do that. All they centuries. did was they gave you a total um, for the, the entire crazy. game. So we know that there's 70 secrets for the entire game, but we don't know how many secrets per each individual level. Now, because I'm actually trying to get all the secrets, um, what I've done is, and it is a slight cheat, is I've actually had a look and found out how many secrets per level I need to get so that I don't find myself at the end of the game with missing masses and masses of secrets so that I know um, along the way roughly how many I should be getting. Um, but I don't know where they are uh, other than the ones that I've discovered previously in previous games um, but I definitely have never come close to getting all of the secrets so this is going to be a new experience for me. Um, so we've missed the introduction at the beginning of the game because I was talking so I'll just briefly introduce you to what's actually going on here. This is Lara when she's 14, 15 years old and in front of her there is a person called Von Croy and he's meant to be her mentor. He's um, this guy that presumably when she was this age and developed an interest in archaeology took Lara under his wing and instructed her on um, the, the best ways to, to, to do what it is that they do. Um, so that's Lara's mentor, Von Croy, and um, because I know this game already, um, I'm going to be ignoring quite a lot of, of what he's saying and, and just doing my own thing because I'm going to be looking for the, for the secrets. But basically this level here is an introduction um, to, it's sort of a tutorial level to introduce you to how the character moves and the, the, the variety of moves that Lara can do, um, which is fine if you're new to the game, but if you've, you are an experienced Tomb Raider, it is quite frustrating because the game actually stops you and makes you listen to what Von Kohoi says as he instructs Lara on how to, to do various things. Um, but I already know that there are eight secrets in this level that we need to be looking for, so that's going to be what my mission is here. So off we go. Careful, all is not as it seems. Concealed traps and pitfalls await the unwary. You must stay close and follow my instruction. So you see, he's 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 instructing Lara on on the very very basics. I think it's a really imaginative idea, but once you've played the game through once, it's very very irritating. That was the first secret I collected, and I remember that in this particular level, they are all the same. They are all those, and I'll just show you in the inventory. They're golden skulls, so we're looking for eight golden skulls in this level. But after that, 
um, the secrets tend to be um, ammunition um, if I'm remembering correctly and health packs so that's just peculiar to this initial level so uh, as I say I'm looking for secrets I'm going to check all the little itty bitty corners here we go good men have died for the information contained herein and cruel men have bartered the information for their own ends for this we must respect it we will not deviate from its route and you will not deviate from my instruction this way okay he's quite a character he's actually one of my most favorite tomb raider characters he's quite authoritarian and he obviously well you will get to see that he has a very high opinion of himself um, he's world famous and he believes that Lara should show him a significant amount of respect and the dynamic in their relationship is that um, she's the protege that's possibly outgrowing the uh, the control and the instruction of of the her first mentor. Obstacle, a small hop to test your how do you say pluck. Press and hold walk. Now push forward. And because Come come child, do not fear. This is merely an appetizer for the perils ahead. Push forward and jump together. And um, because of that she's becoming a little bit insolent and their relationship sounds quite testy at times. Now, what he's wanting me to do there is do a stand straightforward jump over. I happen to know, just because I remember this, that there is a secret down there. And I, honest to God, I do not know where all the secrets are, so this is just a particular one off that I remember. Um, it's strange how that is. After six years of not playing this game, I can still remember certain key things. It sort of burns into your brain. And I'm not very good at the controls. It's been a long time since I've, I've used these controls. I used to be an expert, though. Um, I used to be extremely proficient handling Lara. So hopefully it's like riding a bike and that will come come back to me. I'm not expecting to have those kind of problems with the game. Okay, having to check all the corners just in case. That's a wild boar. Uh, in this level, Lara has no weapons, and she has no way herself of actually killing um, the aggressive creature and so she has to let the Bon Vori Bon Croy, sorry stab it for her which takes a little while. Meanwhile I will just carry on looking for golden skulls. Okay. We have two and we need to find another six, which actually sounds like a lot um, from my memory. I don't remember there being that many in this first level. Patience, child. Disrespect is a route to carelessness. Our route lays beyond the stream. So as you can see, he's always chiding her. He's always having to... Um, I suppose put her in her place. Like the, the big lion sort of patting her down with his his paw to the lion cub and I think she humours him but you know and she does respect him but um, at the same time at that age she feels a certain impatience with him I suspect. So three down, five to go. Just take a quick look around. 
Um, unfortunately for me, anyway, I'm hoping it's it's not going to be so bad uh, for the game capture. But I'm playing um, a PlayStation One game on the PlayStation Three, and what it's done is it's pixelated everything and made what actually is a absolutely gorgeous PlayStation 1 game and made the quality quite rough. Um, I'm hoping that on the game capture it's not going to be quite so bad for you but I do apologize for that. I did try connecting my PlayStation 2 um, to try and get a better quality. Um, I also have um, this game on PC but I couldn't find it so I do apologize for the quality is this is going to trigger now von Croy to say something so I'll be quiet this gap is wider and the edges treacherous first walk to the edge then press forward and jump together when you are in midair press and hold action you will grab the outcrop okay so we're introduced to what is the standard Tomb Raider running jump which is a jump backwards run jump ah the pace is quickening now yeah one more crossing child or do you wish to stop for tea oh I think I can just about hold it together wouldn't want to spill it on your nice suit at any rate oh <laughs> the witty Repertoire. This one calls for a run up. I will go first. Now this game is really frustrating because you cannot do anything <laughs> until he Be allows you. Now, child, we have little time for incompetence. Walk to the edge, then tap back to give yourself a run up. So in that particular sequence there, I was actually stopped three times from walking to this edge while he told me off and patronized me a little bit more so okay jump back now, and we stopped to stop me again press and hold jump <laughs> now hold down action to grab onto the ledge which is great if you're if a, you're a novice uh, but for anybody who's ever played this game it's so <laughs> frustrating okay so we're gonna do a run jump and grab there we go we made it But I suppose it kind of mimics the frustration Laura crack, herself would feel with, with some bossy character like this. Eye. You're a regular superhero, Werner. Ah, yes, the superman. Hm. There's enough comedy. <gasps> but I still, I still really like Run him. Run to the wall. Now press forward and hold action to grab on. Now press right to shimmy across. Okay, how many times am I going to get stopped here? Now the great thing about the old tomb the games now press forward to climb up. is they didn't mind if things took a little while to, to happen. Um, in modern day games there's no way you'd be allowed to to shimmy for that long um, well you'd be allowed to shimmy th for that length of time but you wouldn't be allowed to go that slowly that is just too slow for most people's patience these days weird can camera angle. Um, Core usually do this to show you something significant um, but I can't see what it is in this particular instance. This is a high fall. You should lower yourself down to be safe. Turn around to face away from the door. Now press back and hold action. Let go of action to fall to the floor. Okay. So we turn around and jump back. There we go. Easy peasy. Another weird camera angle. Your chance to earn your keep, Fräulein. 
The mechanism to activate the bridge lies at the other side of the stream. These rivers cascade through chambers and caverns deep below these prehistoric foothills. As a consequence... Freezing, I guess. The old gout playing up again, Verna. So a nice introduction um, to the swimming part of the Tomb Raider game. And I was going to try and do a dive there, but... <laughs> I didn't make it, obviously, as you saw. I need to get used to these controls. Here's another secret. And we'll just go up for some air, and then we'll investigate the little offshoot cabin here, tunnel. And our first goodies that we find. Small and large medipack. So what he's trying to direct us to is um, he wants us to come out of the water on the other side. Of the pool, because there's a lever to press there. Look for a lever or pressure pad. There must be one close by. That when will you find it, use action to activate it. It'll open the door for him. I'm just going to have a quick peek down here. That's the way forward but we're going to need him to um, undo that lock or locking mechanism there to progress. So this is the, the lever. your death in those clothes, my dear. A quick sprint up that ladder will dry you out again. Such concern. I never knew you cared. Dear Lara, you are a valuable asset to the quest. You are romantic, you. <laughs> yes, quite. Walk up to the ladder. Now press and hold action to climb up onto it. Keep this button pressed and use forward to climb to the top. I do like their relationship. That sort of um, friendly banter. There will be another lever up there. Pull it, then get back down here quickly. The quest is nearly at an end. to grab that then, but missed. I will get used to these controls. Swiftly across the vines now. Press jump, <gasps> then hold down action. I mean, funnily now enough, it's easier if Don't he's not telling you what to do and if you could just plan. get on and do your own thing. Again, another very long, slow section here that you don't see so much of in the in the newer games, which is a shame, really, because 
having these delayed bits instead of a relentless action all the time actually creates a, a much better balance in my view a much greater sense of realism um, that draws me in I, I'm, I don't need to have um, some constant movement, constant action, constant danger. There's another uh, one of those wild boars, which one cry is well, trying to kill. Eek. When I first played this game, um, those wild boars felt quite dangerous. There's another secret. Um, but they're actually very easy to outrun. Hey, come back. He's supposed to have killed them. like you can't get in here anyway so we're okay but I do have this what I call game OCD-ness where I like to complete everything that I'm meant to complete but it feels a little bit like a loose end I have a, I have a feeling that there is something around here. No. 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 I was wrong. Let's have a look how many secrets we've got. We've got five, so we're still looking for another three. good. There's only two left. <gasps> Is that a trap? No. It would have been, but it looks like Von Croy has um, sorted it somehow. Because we're actually on the sp where the spikes show that they should come through. And I haven't saved yet. There so. is no mention of this in the texts. I fear this must be opened internally. We must enter through the grate and be wary of snares. I presume by we, you refer to me. Yeah, my heavier frame may activate traps. You will pass unnoticed. How convenient. And again, an opportunity here to introduce another stand facing the grate now another press move and hold the crouch button push forward to crawl into the gap be alert and I just wonder why core design decided to do this um, it is a creative way but it is also very frustrating for people who've previously done Tomb Raider games, but maybe they just felt it was needed because, is that another secret? Yes, so we're only looking for one more. Um, people who are new to Tomb Raider games often complained about how difficult they were because they were expecting, I suppose, a, a certain kind of movement style. Um, probably didn't go to the mansion to learn how to do that, probably gave it a little bit of a go and gave up. Um, and Core probably decided that this was a good way to make sure that that didn't happen in the future. Hmm. Lara's backpack. So this is a pivotal moment in 
the origins of Lara Croft, sort of equivalent to Indiana Jones finding his uh, hat and his whip. Um, it's one of those iconic um, items of Lara Croft, along with her dual pistols. And um, until recently, her plat or braid, as some some people call it. So there we have it. She has found her her backpack that, in some form or another, she she wears in all the games, apart from the most recent one, which is. Um, the new Tomb Raider reboot which is a completely different kind of game in my opinion ok there's a lever and let's scoot back out the crawling is a brilliant move but it's very difficult to, uh, to turn Whilst you're doing that. Ah, a backpack. Let us hope it does not hold the same luck for you as its previous owner. I make my own luck, Verna. What now? Now it begins. The eyes of the ancients are upon us, and their vengeance is wrathful. We must move quickly. When running, press and hold sprint to gain extra speed. I know he just said which button it was for the sprint, but I've actually forgotten immediately he said it. No? There we go. <laughs> Dive through the gap! Dive through the gap! I'm Press a person to perform who, a diving roll. Who doesn't really tend to use the sprint very often? you don't often use it in in these games it's not a requirement okay I definitely recognize that we are coming close to the end of this particular level and I can remember that there is a little gold secret there so I think we have them all great which means we can end the level now knowing that we've we've done what we need to do here we go so you found the garden of the five towers well done my child to the right the path of the heretical to the left is the root of the virtuous I'm up for a little heresy <laughs> now what I do remember from when I played it through before is that if you collect all those secrets in the first level, all eight golden skulls, then you get the path of the heretical. If you um, don't quite manage to get all the secrets, you have to do the path of the virtuous. And I think the, the virtuous path is, is more easy um, than the path that we're now about to, to follow. I don't have to look in the corners anymore because I know that um, we've got all the gold secrets, although it's always possible in Tomb Raider that there's weapons and um, medipacks and things hidden away, so I will have a quick look in some of them. You get a feel once you start playing these games for where things are likely to be hidden. Now it becomes interesting, yeah? You see yeah. now it is not for the weak of heart. How do you hold up, girl? Oh, I think I could get used to this. There is, um, on his part, a definite sense of uh, passive aggression, isn't there? He, uh, 
he holds hostility and, and frustration. <laughs> against her. I can't remember where to go. Which is good actually because it makes it more interesting for me. Push forward. Now press and hold action. When you are hanging from the ledge, hold down crawl to squeeze into the gap. <laughs> Learning how to squeeze into a gap from um, from hanging from from a wall. The range of movements in in Tomb Raider games is so wide compared to most other other games. It's such a shame, really, that other games just don't copy. Um, what you can do in a in a Tomb Raider game it adds so much to the experience. Swing across to the alcove, jump from the ledge, then hold down action to grab the vine. To release, let go of action. This um, there's such a richness um, in these old Tomb Raider games that. You just don't feel in 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 the modern games today. Even though the um, <coughs> the graphics are amazing in modern games today, um, not always, but quite often, you you do feel um, that they're not as rich, not as full as uh, some of the older games used to be. But not all of there's some really good games out there now as well. Okay. I'm gonna save here because I remember that we m move straight into the next level oh that must have been from uh, ages and ages ago when I w tried to do this game <coughs> excuse me So we move into the next level and it's a race with Von Croy, which I've never been very good at, so don't expect anything good. <laughs> the gauntlet to you, my child. Whoever is first to the iris claims the prize. Watch your back, old man. I warn you, I'll pull no punches. <laughs> I expected no less. On the count of three. One. Two. <laughs> He's a cheater. Um, I once beat him on this. And all the other times, I uh, came in well behind. So, like I say, don't expect anything because it's just not going to be possible for me to to beat him. And I've never been a real racy person anyway, so that's my <laughs> excuse for being rubbish. And there's always a bit on on this race um, where I just get lost, and it's it's always fluke that I just make it to the end. Don't I even. 
even now I can't can't remember which way. Oh, oh god, that is so typical Tomb Raider, isn't it? And there we go again. God, I'm so tempted to save. <laughs> Like I said, I'm not going to race because I know that there are key points where he will be waiting for us anyway, so there's no need to, to genuinely race. And I just want to check out... That is pretty gorgeous, that water. I remember once I did it and I just kept ending up in the same place. There we go. He's waiting for us, you see. Give you a bit of a chance again. Is this can we jump that far? No. Brilliant. That knee just not being very good. Now now that we're down in the water we we can't climb up there, so no choice but to swim through here and up through here and I'm presuming I'm just going to follow this I promise you I will get better with the controls just like riding a bike, I just need... There he is. I just need a bit of playing around with it. That is one long jump. We made it just... There's a block there. We have no flares at this stage so it's very dark and I'm hoping that it's not quite so bad for you guys. I, I apologise if it is. When I edit this, uh, I'm going to see what I can do, make sure that it's it's not so dark. Okay. The rope is not my favourite um, because things like that happen, which then lead to that. Okay. I will take us back and <laughs> I will see you shortly. I'll get us back to there. Okay, hello, I'm back. <laughs> I don't know whether I did any better um, that time through. I felt um, that I was a little bit better. And no, again, good job I saved this time just before there. There's a trick to this but I just can't remember what it is. Okay, let's get Lara moving. And then, there! Oh my gosh, you just had to release a little bit earlier so that she didn't grab the roof. Thanks game. I think we're close to the end. There's some little monsters down there, there. And of course we don't have any weapons to kill them, so we just have to outrun them. And there's a whole load of them. Oh my 
my gosh, get off me, especially because I don't want to have to do that rope thing again. Where do I climb up? Let me just try this green bit. Yes. I just have to check for the, uh, the climbable patterning, which that is. I haven't beat Von Croy that I know. I think we go through this this mouth. Yep, that definitely rings a bell. Through here. Sorry for the darkness. I can't see a thing myself. I need some flares. And the smoke Von Croy is already there. Sorry, guys. I am not such an old man after all, <laughs> yeah? Come here, child. Just let him the have his moment. The mechanism us both to release it. The plinth inscription warns of vengeance on those who remove it. Ah, ancient hocus pocus. Forget this nonsense and come over here. I don't count poison darts and triggered entombment, your average child's tea party. I feel we should lend this some respect. Ah, and you are the world-famous archaeologist adventurer Lara Croft, yeah? No, no, I am the renowned archaeologist adventurer Werner von Croy, and you will do as I say. Go to the wall and pull the lever. What was it you said? Disrespect is the route to carelessness? I am weary of this. Pull the lever now, Miss Croft. On your head be it, Von Croy. By the way, if you do make it here first, um, Von Croy doesn't honor his um, and you will learn more than simple doesn't honor his proposal and and I think he he just takes it off you anyway so it all ends in disaster anyway so it's kind of irrelevant my leg my leg I am trapped my leg is trapped help me Laura help me hold on I'm coming back to get you Or, uh, or go back. I think that's one of the uh, the very interesting pivotal moments of um, Tomb Raider is that Lara does actually save her own skin, quite rightly, uh, but then sets in motion events that this game will will live out for us and I think it's interesting that she isn't always portrayed as um, a goody goody as somebody who she's a good person but she makes mistakes and she looks after herself um, which I think makes her more complex as a character definitely more interesting um, to, to, to watch
Okay, so we've now moved forward into modern day times and Lara is fully grown. She's obviously um, established as a Tomb Raider in her own right, uh, no longer under Von Croy's wing as it was, and she's out investigating in Egypt um, some tomb which we'll we'll go into in the the next playthrough um, that we do. So we're in Egypt present day. Um, she's there with a guide and we will leave it there and come back to it next time. Um, for this particular level there are five secrets so we will be looking for five secrets. I hope you've enjoyed it so far and I hope you'll join me next time. If you have any comments please um, feel free to, to post them below and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you so much.